you guys have been able to the last couple of weeks pull out some some games in the fourth quarter. Um, as you've known during your championship runs, uh, a lot of uh, when it comes down to playoff time, you have to be able to win in the fourth quarter. You guys have shown that. How valuable can that be going forward, knowing that you guys can close out a game and, and win one? Well, it's about grit. I mean, you know, when you get right down to it, your nose is to the grindstone, and you find a way to win, and uh, we've been able to do that the last several weeks. So just got to keep on trucking. Tell me about this defense. Uh, what are you guys keying on defensively to get ready for what Siena Heights prepare, or prepares to bring to uh, St. Francis on uh, Saturday afternoon? They're a control team. I mean, they're, they're going to they win four yards of carry. They want to run the clock down. They want to limit your offensive touches. They've been successful. They're 6-1, and one, should be 7-0. and oh. um, So I have a lot of respect for them. Uh, they got good players. They do a great job coaching. Uh, they, they had us whipped last year. We came back and found a way in the last minute, got into overtime, and, and found a way to win. Um, when you take a look at uh, Andrew McCormick on the defensive side of the football, he's had a pretty quick ascension, um, and he's, it looks like he's playing Sam linebacker. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Um, what can you say about uh, his progress and the, uh, his ability to kind of adapt and learn that position and be not only effective but a really good football player for you guys defensively? Well, one, he's a great person. He's a great team guy, and he's a great athlete. He's going to do whatever you ask him to do to help the team. Um, you know, he wanted to play quarterback, had some shoulder issues. Uh, he wouldn't have been in a position to, to play much right now, and he could help us. We had some injuries uh, at the Sam linebacker position, so he didn't even hesitate. He jumped right on it, and it's been a, a big help to us. Uh, where are you guys at offensively? I know obviously Matt uh, did not play last week, but he looked uh, pretty good out there in practice today. Uh, where are you at quarterback going into this week? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of a day-by-day -day thing, but we are got him back in the swing of it. and. Uh, you know, I don't think you lose your position because of injury, but it does but put performance. And I thought uh, our young freshman, uh, he Simmons, did a, a good job. A little nervousness in his first start there early in the game. Settled down the second quarter. I thought he played good football. So that's it's good to know you got two guys you can hang your hat on. Uh, we talked to Dylan Hunley as well today. Uh, what does he bring to the team? He seems like a guy that, you know, you can put on the outside, you can put on the inside. He can do a lot of things uh, offensively. And, again, kind of like Andrew McCormick, uh, he just – all he does is produce when he gets in there. Must be that East Noble thing, <laughs> you know. They they bring it here, and they all, all those guys have success. But you're right, Dylan. Uh, he returns punts. He plays inside receiver. He plays outside receiver. He makes clutch catches. He's a great blocker on the perimeter. So he's one of those guys that just smiles and goes about doing his job and enjoys every minute of it. Awesome. Anything else you like to add, Coach? Ah, uh, you got it, man.